that anyone outside of the church is welcome to help. All right, so we have uh, Irma, we have uh, uh, Katya, and we also have Hosea. Yeah, three named systems mm -hmm. out there this morning, guys. The one we're most concerned about and is most urgent to get the word out about how strong it is, Irma, mm -hmm. right. Category 5, strongest in the Atlantic on record as it just made landfall in the last few hours in the tiny island of Barbuda heading towards St. Martin in Anguilla. You just horrific scenes there, guys. Winds of 155 miles an hour were registered before the anemometer was wiped out. Yeah, now it's on the backside of that system. They're dealing with some significant storm surge upwards of 10 feet as it heads just off towards the west there towards St. Martin and Anguilla, pretty much the eye knocking on their doorstep right now with very, very strong winds in excess of 150 miles an hour. Sustained in the northeast quadrant of 185 with gusts to 225. Now the newest update from the Hurricane Center came out at 5 a.m. and there are some changes. You notice a significant turn northwards here as they're kind of going with overnight models that shifted off towards the east here. Pretty much a lot of them up in this direction through the uh, western part of the Bahamas and then tracking north of there. So they went kind of middle of the road and slightly adjusted off towards the east. The reason why is Irma actually started to take a northward trend earlier then was forecasted in the models. So in turns, it has a ripple effect all along the models here. So now they're starting to increase the chances of that taking a turn earlier in its forecast period rather than later, meaning that southeast coastline now back in play here. Again, only one run of the models through the overnight. Things could change, and we expect these back and forth changes this far out in the forecast term. So keep that in mind, not set in stone. There's Jose out there in the Atlantic right behind Irma. It's going to be moving into those same warm waters, so expected to intensify to a Category 2 hurricane by the weekend. And then we have Katia that's down in the southern Gulf of Mexico, not expected to do much, uh, remaining a tropical storm before it meanders inland and falls apart. So not to worry about that or Jose, really, just Irma. we got to keep a very close eye on. Here close to home, a cold front rolling through today brought us some showers this morning. We see a break through midday and then more showers and storms. That could be strong later on this evening and overnight. And behind it, sunshine and cooler weather returns tomorrow and stays with us through the weekend. There's radar, the tail end of the showers now moving on through Virginia Beach. More of the lighter side. Had a few thunderstorms down through northeastern North Carolina and surely uh, right through the Outer Banks. But a lot of that has pushed east and offshore leading to some better weather for the next few hours there. The cold front itself still to our north and west. It's a slow mover. doesn't get here until this evening and overnight. And then behind it, that cool, dry air will flood in. Ahead of it, winds out of the southwest, so we're mild and we're muggy out there this morning. We'll top out about 10 degrees warmer than where we are right now. So on average for this time of the year, 70 currently in Portsmouth. Here's how it looks on Futurecast. That first wave this morning, we see a considerable break through late morning, early afternoon, maybe a spotty shower or two, but majority of it coming on through with the actual front later on this evening in the first half of the overnight. 82 today, showers and storms. This afternoon, they could be strong, severe. Southwest winds at 5 to 10. And then for tonight, 63 with a shower early, leading to some gradual clearing. And there's your seven day. Tomorrow, 77 with clearing skies. 78 on Friday, my pick of the week. And the weekend looking real nice as well. Pair of 75s and sunny. All right, breaking traffic now with Ashley. Tim, we head back to that traffic trouble at the James River Bridge. It is still not over yet. We head over now to the camera where we can see a lot of activity here. I'm just going to step off camera so you can see what's going on. 17 